Ratio, Word Problems, Chapter 3, Ratio and Proportion. In this lesson, we will solve some practical problems that require us to work on ratios. So, practical problems that require solving ratios are often about allocation or dividing a whole into n equal parts and assigning portions of that whole to their recipients. Let us go straight into solving uh, a problem. Example 3.3, .3, allotted share in an investment for a grocery store. Three investors pool their money to start a grocery store. They are able to collect 750,000 pesos. Find the amount of investment given by each investor based on the following ratios. 5 is to 3 is to 2. 2 is to 1 is to 1. So exactly how much money in pesos did each investor contribute to this investment? This is what we shall do. We shall obtain the sum of the terms. And then we will divide the whole. Okay, so the whole here refers to 750,000 pesos. That is the totality of uh, amount that was collected for this endeavor. So we will divide the whole 750,000 pesos by the sum of the terms. And then we will assign portions of that whole to their recipients based on the ratio. So for letter A, the ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. The sum of the terms is 10. We will divide 750,000 pesos by 10. And the result is 75,000 pesos. So something like this takes place here. We have this amount of money. This is the total amount of investment that was uh, gathered for this business to put up a grocery store, 750,000 pesos. So if you divide this into 10, what that means is you divide it into 10 equal parts. Each part is worth 75,000 pesos. Find the amount of investment given by each investor. So let's say, for example, our investors are A, B, and C. Okay? And the terms of our ratio is 5, 3, and 2. So that is the ratio. A contributed 5 parts of the total investment. B contributed 3 parts of the total investment. And C contributed 2 parts of the total investment. So how much in pesos did each contribute to 750,000 pesos? So it's going to be this. A contributed 5 times... 75,000 pesos, which is equal to 375,000 pesos. Investor B contributed 3 times 75,000 pesos, and that is equal to this, 225,000 pesos. Investor C contributed 2 times 75,000 pesos, which is equal to 150,000 pesos. So these are the contributions of investors A, B, and C based on the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. Let us now go to letter B. What will be their contributions to the investment if their contributions took place according to the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 1? The sum of the terms is 4. We divide the whole, 750,000 pesos, by 4. The result is 187,000 pesos. So if this is the whole, we will divide it into 
four equal parts, okay? Each part here is worth 187,000 pesos, okay? So this is the tabular representation of the solution. We have three investors, A, B, and C. Their contribution to the investment is based on the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 1. Investor A contributed two parts of the total investment, B, one part, C, one part. So, how much did each investor contribute in pesos? For investor A, it's going to be 2 times 187,500, which is equal to 375,000 pesos. Investor B contributed one part of the total investment. So, it's going to be 1 times 187,500 pesos. And so with investor C.